I understand regret. I understand living in regret too. For 10 years of my life, I allowed myself to live with this cloud of regret over me constantly. I allowed my past to dictate my future. And there came a point for me where God met me in the middle of that suffering and in the middle of that pain. And he helped me find a way out. And I know there's power in forgiveness. I don't have to imagine what it'd be like to try and forgive somebody for killing someone. When I was 12 years old, my grandfather was murdered and there was a lot of anger and I always wondered, you know, can I really forgive him for what he did and taking someone out of my life? But as my relationship with God grew, I realized that yes, I can forgive him. And mercy is a beautiful thing. The more that you receive it, the more you're willing to give it to others. When life has meaning, you can bear almost anything. Without it, nothing is bearable. When I heard I had a son, I had to break out. If I were the one who killed your husband, could you forgive me? I don't know. Maybe God can. We all have a cross to bear. We all have had struggles in our life. And I think the movie Captive speaks to that. It's about people who make mistakes, about people who want forgiveness and are struggling to get there. And once we begin to seek help, we realize that our life truly does have meaning and purpose, that God has a plan for us, that God loves us, and he's gonna help us get to where he wants us to be, which is fully alive in him. When life has meaning, you can bear almost anything. Without it, nothing is bearable. Someday, if I discover my purpose, I'll feel I'm beginning to live.